All right, so today you can see your learning target and it says I can represent equal groups with tape diagrams and relate it to repeated addition. So Ms. Hildebrand already wrote a little problem on the board. So we're going to stick with our beads. Ms. Hildebrand has three beads. Ms. Park has four beads, and Ms. Severino has five beads. So let me write that so we know. We have three, four, and Ms. Severino has five. Now, right now, we do not have equal groups, okay? What we want to do is get equal groups. That's what we're trying to solve for. So, you ask yourself, do we have equal groups? No, we don't. Well, how can we do that? We're gonna use a tape diagram to do that, just like in our learning target. So remember, you draw out your tape diagram to represent. Ms. Hildebrand has three, Ms. Park has four, and Ms. Severino has five. So I'm just gonna write our letters of our first names just to make it easier. Hildebrand, Park, Severino, okay? So I'm gonna draw my three. If you want, you can also write it. Ms. Park has four, and Ms. Severino has five. That looks like a five. Okay, so total, How many do they have? I'm just giving you time to think about this so you can either add your three plus four plus five or if you want, you can always count your circles. Remember the same things represented up here. So total they have 12. Now, my question to you is how can you represent this in equal groups? What could you do to make them all have the equal amount of beads? That's what we're trying to solve. So in our tape diagram, right now they're not equal, okay? But what's something you could do to make them equal? Well, we all know that Ms. Hildebrand, Ms. Park, and Ms. Severino are great at sharing. So, one thing, if you look up here, that we could do is the lovely Ms. Severino could share one with Ms. Hildebrand, and I'll color it in a different color so you know that Ms. Severino shared. So, that would make sure now Ms. Hildebrand has four, Ms. Park has four, and Ms. Severino has four. So now let's see if we can make a tape diagram with this. And let's see if it changes. That's Ms. Hildebrand, Ms. Park, and Ms. Severino. Okay, what does this equal? So if we had to and you weren't sure right away, remember to write your repeated addition sentence. So it would be four plus four plus four. We've been practicing this um, yesterday, the day before. Okay, four plus four is eight. Remember to bring this four down. Eight plus four is gonna give you that 12. So if you remember before, we still have the same answer. So let's ask ourselves this question. If you remember, blank groups of, I'll write it. Blank groups of 
blank. How many groups do you have? Now this is a little different because we didn't actually draw groups, but you can see that Ms. Hildebrand did box in. So Ms. Hildebrand is a group, Ms. Park is a group, and Ms. Severino is a group. So how many groups do you have or how many teachers are there sharing? And you can count. There's one, two, three teachers or three groups. And then remember we change it so it would be equal and we have three groups of each teacher has how many beads? They have four beads. So it's three groups of four. Remember, this repeated addition sentence helps you to visually see the groups and the number that each group has inside of it. So this box represents a group of four. This box represents Ms. Park's group of four. And this box represents Ms. Severino's group of four. And all together, once we did our repeated addition sentence to help us, we got 12 all together. So now I'm going to have you do another one. All right, ladies. So. We have Waffles, Cookie, and Buffet, which are Miss Hildebrand, Miss Parks, and Miss Severino's animals. Now, they all have treats, and I will quickly write them with you. So we have Waffles having one, two, three, four, five, six, seven treats. Cookie has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight treats, and Buffet has one, two, three, four, five, six treats. Now, it is up to you to show equal groups. Ask yourselves, are they equal? How can I make them equal? Show a repeated addition sentence. So after you have equal groups, I want you to show that repeated addition sentence. And I also want you to show a tape diagram. Okay, make sure you can take pictures. Um, show your work. Try to show your teachers if you can. Okay, try this out. Try out the tape diagram. That's what we're looking for. I know you can do it. Hope you have a great weekend and a happy Friday. We will see you soon. Keep up the great work and remember to always try your best. Bye!